that well, way. Well, joining us this morning for Pet Place is Mary Reamer, and she has brought with Prince from the Pocatello Animal Shelter. Tell us a little bit about this guy here. Prince, as you can see, he's a, a good boy. He is very he is well trained. very well. Yes, he is about a year and a half. Um, he was a family dog, you know, they had him already neutered, vaccinations all current, but the family moved. So okay. Prince and Princess were released to the shelter last week. Well, Princess got adopted, so now we just need to find a home for Prince. Okay. But we're talking, like I said, family dog. He's used to being in the house, um, being left in the house. He's house trained. They had four children, um, age, I think it was eight to 12, I think was okay. the numbers I saw. Um, so he's used to being around a family. They said he got he got along great with other dogs. Okay. Um, I think they even said good with cats that they were he was okay with cats. So I mean he'd be a really nice family right. dog. Okay, probably a really good like I guess starter dog for a family as well where he's already trained up a little bit been around things, knows, yeah. knows, knows the drill, I guess. Yeah, and as you saw, he knows some kinds. He knows sit very, very well, and he'll lay down on command. He'll crawl for you. And as you can see, he's very food and treat more motivated. Right. So that makes him very easy to train with other things. I mean, he doesn't bite to get the food out of your hand. He's very good about just trying to figure out how to get it out of your hand. And um, so that makes him very easy for kids to train. If your kids want something, they can train and teach him some more tricks. This would be a Perfect. great dog. All right, shifting gears here. Run with the big dogs coming up yes. late next month. Uh, or still early bird deals going on right now. Tell right, us a if you register that. this week or get your registration into the animal shelter by Saturday, five o'clock, you only pay the twenty dollar registration fee, okay. ten dollars if it's a child under twelve. Then it goes to twenty five and fifteen. Still a good cause, and no matter which rate you have to pay, because you get your t shirt, your dog gets a bandana, you get goodie bags with full of treats and fun things. Um, thanks to Phil Meter Toyota once again with us. I mean, this is the 16th annual, and he's been with us every year to support oh. this event. So um, all the proceeds go to help with the adoption programs at the shelter. So to help dogs like Prince get oh, good homes, get good homes. Then yes, it'll be. It's a good cause. All right. Maybe for the uninitiated, what do they need to do to kind of prepare for the uh, run with the big dogs? Oh, you know what? Just get your dogs out for the walk. Make Just sure they're. Up. You know, yeah. Get them current on their vaccinations. Make okay. sure that for their own safety. But show up with them on leash. This is a fun event. Last year we probably had a 600 dogs in the park. And it's just a fun day for the dogs, really, is what it is. It's okay. just a fun day. If you haven't done it, I really encourage you to think about coming down. It'll be at lower level Ross Park. And um, you can do a two point, you can do two five, two, two K walk. We had to change okay. that this year. Five K walk or five K run or a little bit of both or whatever you want to do. Okay. It's not, it's not a pressure thing. You just go and have just fun. Just go and enjoy yourself. Yes. Uh, where can people go for more information on Prince or any of the other animals at the shelter? They can come up to the shelter, of course, and see us, or they can go to the city website, www.pocatello.us. That'll give you information about Dog Run, and you can link over to what animals are available for adoption. All right, cool. Thank you very much Thank for you. stopping by.